of transport or buildings? Buildings, buildings. okay. So what does that mean? So uh, when I was presenting this model in the US Senate last uh, February, uh, somebody suggested to pull the lever and one of the senators said, what does that mean? So what does that mean? What is electrification of the building sector? So how do buildings use energy? Heating and cooling is the dominant. We also have lighting, we have hot water, and, and uh, you run your appliances in an office setting like here. You've got co you know, copy machines and so forth. In your home, you've got your refrigerator and your other appliances. But the dominant use is heating and cooling. And in the northern latitudes, where many people live, it's dominant heating. In the tropical latitudes, it's dominant cooling. So what electrification means is, well, I'll give you the example of my home. My own home here uh, in Lexington, Massachusetts, 90-year-old uh, structure. Uh, and four years ago, my wife and I did a deep energy retrofit on our house. This entailed uh, a lot more insulation, so more energy efficiency. And you haven't pulled that lever much yet. Um, high quality windows, lots of insulation, tighten the building envelope. I can say more about this later, but it included, we ripped out the natural gas that was the heating system and provided the hot water, and we went with air source heat pumps. So air source heat pumps, we could have done ground source heat pumps, that's geothermal. Uh, what that does is it extracts most of the energy you need for heating in the winter or cooling in the summer from the outside air using a heat pump, a compressor, and that uh, gives you about three units of energy, joules or BTUs in the United States, um, for every one of electrical energy you put in. So it's dramatically more efficient. That's what electrification is, okay? And so let's try that. Did I do it? Yes, I did it. It made a, it made a pretty good difference there, uh, pulling that one notch. Terrific.